What up citizen soldiers? Today is August 16th, 2012. Five years ago today, a woman who meant a lot to me, my ex-girlfriend, was taken from this earth. <clears throat> this video is meant to be a positive video with a very positive message that I learned that <clears throat> with her passing away and the events surrounding <clears throat> our breakup and stuff like that taught me a lot about respect. <clears throat> to everybody who doesn't know, uh, this is a little negative. Kamisha Block, she was murdered when we were in Iraq by her new boyfriend. It was a homicide slash suicide. The army tried to cover it up saying she was shot once in the chest and that it was friendly fire. But in reality, she was shot five times and it was a murder slash <clears throat> homicide slash suicide. That's just a quick little spill about it. But enough with the negative stuff because that's not what this video is about. This video is about a positive thing. This bear is a bear I got from her or for her. When we were dating, I got it for her for Valentine's Day. I went on leave on um, beginning of February. I don't remember the exact dates. But I got her this bear. And she kept this bear even though after we split up. And her family gave it back to me. And I know, I know her family is a little upset with me about love letters from Iraq. But I'm going to fix that. Um, and um, to her family I really appreciate y'all giving this back to me but this symbolizes respect I said some very hateful words to her which were my very last words I ever got to spoke to her and I said them out of because I was angry I was stressed out with being in Iraq and I was hurt. Back then I took losing girlfriends very hard. I usually got depressed and took it harder than really what I needed to take it. You know, it's <clears throat> it's not that big of a deal when you lose somebody that you really love because you know, there's more women out there or if you're a female, there's more guys out there. And if you lose somebody you love, no matter if it's just a breakup or you lose somebody who's killed, the best thing to do is try to look back at your relationship with them and take the positive from it. And with me being so hateful to her, after she passed, I learned a lot about respect and watching what I say to people, whether they're close to me or whether they're a stranger that I just run into. I always try to watch what I say to people. You know, I'm human and sometimes I do get mad and I say little things that I don't necessarily mean at that time, but if I do get a little out of hand and, you know, call, throw out personal attacks to somebody, um, if I'm in the wrong, I will apologize. You know, I might have to calm down first, but I will apologize. And with me sharing me and Kamisha passing, um, crossing paths in life, we were obviously meant to cross paths in life, and she touched me, and I learned a lot from her. You know, not just about respect, but with just relationships in general. And Thank you, Kamisha, for teaching me a lot about respect. You know, you've helped me in my journey of, of life and or my journey in life. And you know, it's true, everything happens for a reason. You know, one thing I say is if something bad happens to you, usually there's a lot a lesson to be learned. If something good happens to you, then you possibly learned a lesson. 
and like I said, the biggest lesson I learned from this is respect. Watching what I say to people, because you never know if those words will be the last words you ever say to them. So any kids out there that disrespecting their parents or just disrespecting people in general, you know, don't learn the hard lesson or don't learn the lesson about respect in the way I had to learn it. I learned it the hard way because I'm hard headed and when I learn the hard way that's really the only way I learn. It sucks sometimes but in the end it's very good. So anyways Kamisha, I still love you this much and I really appreciate you I really appreciate God making us cross paths or allowing us to cross paths because you really did change my life for the better. So anyways, I really miss you, Kamisha. I know your family and friends, they all miss you. Um, I'm sorry if I upset your family about sharing our letters. Um, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to compromise, like I said in my last video. And I'm going to take out the sexual content, even though I don't feel anything was that explicit, but I can see how it will upset her family. And like I said, her friend, one of her best friends, made a good point about, you know, her down the road, you know, future generations they might see this and um, kids and stuff like that you know and her family is very religious and stuff like that so pretty sure her family doesn't want to see any of the sexual content so the respectful thing to do is to respect their wishes and at least meet them halfway you know I always say stand up for what you believe in but if you do disrespect somebody, even though you might not feel like, even though you might not feel like they have a reason to be dis disrespected, at least try to compromise. And just as long as you try to compromise, if they don't want to work with you after that, then honestly, that's their problem, you know. And I'm not saying that directly to Kamisha's family or nothing like that. That's just in general. Um, anyways, to Kamisha's family, if y'all do see this. I hope y'all end up grieving like I have. I know it's a lot harder because, or it's a lot harder for y'all because it's a completely different relationship than we had, you know. Yeah, me and her went to school together. I didn't know her in school, and we really only talked for about six months, but um, whether you fall in love with somebody in a week or a year, you know, falling in love is falling in love, so. Anyways, I hope people take this message, this positive message to the heart and learn from my mistake and don't learn it the hard way like I had to because it sucks learning the hard way. But thank you, God, for um, allowing me to learn this lesson and being able to see this, see that this was a lesson I needed to learn. <laughs> really appreciate it. Anyways, I hope everybody out there having a good life, enjoying life. You know, life is life can be short even if you do live to die of old age. Life can be short, but at the same time it can be so long. So appreciate life while you're here. Really appreciate life while you're here. And if you're going through some issues and some problems, Make sure you deal with those issues and those problems. Don't just try to avoid them thinking they're just going to disappear because they're not. You deal with them, life will be so much better. I mean, just take it from me. You know, I've dealt with PTSD and I'm healing. I'm, like, I'm really healing. You know, it's because I've dealt with my problems. You know, and I've actually soul searched and look at what problems I had and looked back at my life doing soul searching looked at 
things I was doing wrong and try to change those things because once you try to change those things that you know you feel that you might be doing wrong and if you change those things and your life's a little better and you're a little bit happier then obviously what you were doing was wrong you know anyways I don't want to make this video that long of a video I um, just wanted to get off that respect lesson I learned anyways to everybody out there I love y'all appreciate all the support y'all been giving me y'all really helped me and I hope I help everybody out there um, it's one it's the reasons why I do YouTube it helps me and it helps others that's plain and simple why I do YouTube so I love y'all thanks for the support anyways much love from the Iraq veteran and RIP Kamisha I love you